to start. Our mission, Helping Parents Heal is a nonprofit organization dedicating to assisting bereaved parents to become shining light parents by providing support and resources to aid in the healing process. We go a step beyond other groups by allowing the open discussion of spiritual experiences and evidence for the afterlife in a non-dogmatic way. Affiliate groups welcome everyone, regardless of religious or non-religious background. Attendance today at this meeting is voluntary, and we are here for the benefit of learning from and sharing with other parents whose child has passed away. It is understood that our discussions are intended to be confidential and not designed to replace traditional therapy or spiritual counseling. Helping Parents Heal offers a wide variety of speakers to allow parents to be informed about many possible ways to heal, to connect with their children, and to learn about the afterlife. The views expressed by our guests do not necessarily reflect those of Helping Parents Heal, and we ask that you take from their presentations whatever may benefit you personally. Welcome everyone and welcome Sherry. Thank you so much. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce Sherry. And um, I've known Sherry for quite some time. As a matter of fact, her book, um, Lost and Found, which was written about her son, Danny, was one of the first that I read, uh, communicating with our children through the use of electronic voice phenomenon is the topic of what she's going to be speaking about this evening. In this presentation, Sherry Pearl will explain what electronic voice phenomenon is, how it works, and how she has been using it to connect up with her son, Daniel, and other loved ones in spirit. EVP messages procured in her readings will be played so that you can hear them for yourselves. Uh, this is from Sherry. Friends, let me say, this is not rocket science. All we do is provide sound and record it. What makes this an amazing phenomenon is that spirit works with us to alter the sound into audible words that we can hear. Sherry Pearl is a spiritual healer, counselor, an interfaith minister, an author, an ITC reader, uh, excuse me, researcher, and the founder of the Prayer Registry a free service for all bereaved parents located at sherrypearl.com. She earned her doctorate degree in therapeutic counseling from the Open Universe, uh, International University Institute for Alternative Medicine. Sherry also wrote, wrote a book about her son, Danny, Lost and Found, as I said, which was one of the first that I read on this journey. And so without further ado, please join me in welcoming Sherry Pearl. Hi, everybody. I am so honored to be here with you. Oh, Lynn Walker, my dear friend. I'm always just amazed how many of us there are and how it just never goes out of style. I get a registration for another child for prayer every day. So there's many of us, and I think it's great that we've come together and that Helping Parents Heal has grown so much since the first, when it was first formed. Um, because to me, there's no other solace after you lose a child than learning how to connect up with them. Um, and, and I call it connect, my book is Lost and Found, uh, A Mother Connects Up With Her Son in Spirit. And to me, that's the only solace. There's no rabbi, priest, minister, swami that's gonna give you the words, that's gonna give you the joy that one good reading, one good evidential reading. And when you learn to be able to do it on your own, well, it's, it's a miracle. And I will tell you that I am not a computer whiz. Um, it's not because I have any fancy equipment. It's not about the equipment. It's really a very simple process. Um, I was gonna start out telling you a little bit about myself, but I think you just wanna hear about EVP. And I don't want to take people through my story. Let's just say I'm going to be 70 in February. And I got into this when I was 20. So not, not EVP, but spiritually healing in the afterlife because I was so sick. And that's all in my first book, Healing from the Inside Out. And all that stuff can be found at my website. So we won't go into why I'm where I am. Let's just get into the topic we want to talk about. EVP, what the hell is it? It's, it's all the craze now. And when I first heard of it, which was before my son passed in 2006 at a conference, when a gentleman named Mark Macy was presenting, 
I was, I didn't disbelieve in the possibility, but I didn't have a child in spirit and I had young children and I thought, oh, I could never do that. It sounded complicated, sounded scary. I didn't know what to make of it. Um, Danny passed of an overdose in 2008 and I had been going to mediums for years, which goes with the other story. So I had the leg up on, on a lot of bereaved parents because I already firmly believed that there was an afterlife. And although when we found our son, we were as devastated as if we didn't believe that. And it, of course that doesn't take away the pain of, of what you're going through. But after a few days of sitting around in bed, I realized, oh, I've got to call Glenn Dove's office. <laughs> he was a medium I'd been going to for years and they had had a cancellation. And one week after the day Danny crossed over, we met up at Glenn's and we, he kind of caught me up on everything that happened in the week I hadn't seen him. And I knew from that point on that I was gonna seek him. I was gonna find him. I was gonna to go to any reputable medium I could. And I would go on a ghost hunt and I would find my boy. And I wanted to see if he came through different mediums who never knew him. Would it still be the same personality, the same Danny? And what I've learned is the more I researched, the happier I got, because the more I reached out to find him, the more I found he was there. And in my book, Lost and Found, I start telling of the amazing things that started happening in my own personal life of direct communications through signs. And I'm sure things many of you have had or will have. Um, and so that, that was kind of my first couple of years of just being in touch with him. And then Lynn Walker, who's here tonight, she could always hear her daughter. And she just always had this incredible ear to her daughter. And I, I can remember when I was turning 60, I was um, having a birthday party and Lynn contacted me and said, well, um, Charlotte, that's her daughter in spirits, is with Danny and, and they wanna wish you a happy birthday. And, and Danny says, you know, and, and I was thinking, well, of course they'd wish me happy birthday because um, it's my birthday. And then Lynn said, but she also said they wanted you to, to, Danny wanted to say, whatever you do, don't sing. And it was so funny because I was planning on singing a number with the band, you know? <laughs> so Lynn always had this great ear, but I, I do love going to mediums and, and getting it clarified that things I had been thinking and hearing, I just thought I was daydreaming. And then when they were clarified by mediums, I knew I could hear him. But then somehow information was brought to me about this electronic voice phenomenon business. And so I went to the AREI website. They had just started then. And there were some instructions, but I'm not a computer whiz. I could not really figure out what to do. So I hired a tech fella who is but still to this day, I think Josh can't believe what I use my computer for. <laughs> but he helped me follow those directions and figure out a step-by-step -step way to put the sound on my computer and a recording program on my computer. And I got started. And what I realized is that all we do as the person on the, in physical reality is that we provide sound. It could be anything from a fan, what works very well for me is scratching my finger on my computer over by where the mic is. I've used water going down the bathtub drain. It sounds like the bathtub's going, oh, oh, oh. But what we use mostly is human vocal gibberish. And the reason I like to use this is that it creates a more human sounding EVP. Gibberish is made by basically having someone read from a book and then we put it through this little piece of software that I think is still on the internet. I'm not sure it was free. It was made by a fellow in Germany called EVP Maker. And we put the recording of someone speaking into EVP Maker and it just chops it up into gibberish. And so it ends up sounding like, like gibberish. And all we do is we get a file of the gibberish, which I'll play for you so you can hear it. And then we put on the recording program, like when we used to do, like in the 60s, you know, like when we used to make mixtapes of the music we loved, we'd play the record and we'd record it on a cassette to the car. 
all you do is you play a sound source, as we call them, and you record it in a recording program. And you ask a question, and then you just let that gibberish play as you record it. And then you do it maybe for a minute or two. And then when you're done, you save it. And then you go to the very beginning and you start going through the gibberish two, three seconds at a time. That's the time consuming part. And lo and behold, spirit does something we don't know how to do. They use thought and they change the gibberish into audible words that we can hear. I mean, if, if spirit wasn't working with us, when I played back my recording, I would play back exactly what I recorded because I don't know how to alter sound. <laughs> I just know how to record it. And that's all we really do. And then when you play, and, and, and it was initially discovered years ago when a gentleman who was a filmmaker named Friedrich Jorgensen went outside with his recorder to film the sounds of birds for a soundtrack for a movie. And apparently when he played it back in his studio, he heard human voices. And I think this was when they began to realize that spirits could use sound. They couldn't make sound in our world, but they could change sound through thought. And so this just fascinated me. And my friend Josh, well, my computer tech fella helped me get set up and I played the sound. And what I'm gonna do for you right now, I'm gonna go to my audible slideshow here. And we're, and I covered it up with my, okay, that's all of you. So where's the slideshow? That's funny. We just had it. I have to pull it. Okay, here it is. Okay, great. So I'm not gonna share the screen because I, for example, I'm gonna play for you a sample of what human vocal gibberish, male human vocal gibberish sounds like. So this is what we start with, sounds like this. Now using that very sound in the background, you will hear me say to my son, you'll also hear the gibberish playing because we have to keep it going. And you'll hear me say, Danny, can you say, I love you, Ma? And then you'll hear, I love you, Ma. So here we go. I'll play it one more time. Danny, can you say I love you? And so um, that is um, human vocal gibberish. Um, this, I want to get back to you guys now. Let's see, where is my screen of you guys? I'll just take down this. We don't need audacity up here. I'm sorry, I'm just having trouble getting screens. Going back from me to you. You can see me, I can't see you. Okay, here we go, I see you again. So we start out by playing something like that kind of sound, gibberish, and then we go back through our recording bit by bit, and we discover a great many, great many EVPs. <laughs> For example, Lily, you have to stop this, honey. You can't be making noise. For example, I'm going to play for you um, an example of female. That I played for you male vocal gibberish. This was female gibberish. <laughs> when, when my daughter was pregnant, I got this. I won't forget the baby. I won't forget the baby. I won't forget the baby. And that came from this. <laughs> now we all recognize that we don't know how to do that. We don't know how to take blah, 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 and turn it into, I won't forget the baby. So that's an example of listening to um, human vocal gibberish. Um, one of the, I will play for you, um, when my grandson was two, one of my grandsons, I have him count to 20. And I um, then took the him counting to 20 and put it through EVP maker and got toddler gibberish. And here's a sweet EVP where um, I said, can you say I love you? And you'll, it'll sound like a little, little kid because you see they're not speaking so much as 
changing the sound into audible words. And so it very much reflects the sound source that you use. So here's, let me say I love you. It sounds a little like a little kid. I love you. But um, let me go along to more of these. Um, here are some from some of, of my readings that are just astounding. Um, mom's asking, where are they? Okay. This is a mom asking her son, are you in heaven? And you'll see I found this answer, I am. You can hear the gibberish in the background because we, we, we keep it on the whole time. Here's, this is a very cute when the mom asked her son, do you mess with the computer electronics and lights when you visit? And you'll hear, oh yeah. <laughs> so like a lot of the boys. Do you mess with the computer electronics and lights when you visit? Oh yeah. And so um, those were all made using, you know, the human vocal gibberish. What was very exciting was then Many of you have heard of Sonia Rinaldi. Oh, I want to play this one because this was just procured a few days ago. One of the moms at the prayer registry who had registered a son with me years ago lost a daughter to COVID recently. And so we decided to connect and see, and she asked them if they were together. And, and listen to this. She'll say, are you both together, Noel and Vanessa? And you'll hear, we certainly are. And so those were all made using the human vocal gibberish, which is, um, you know, pretty clear. Now, there's many other things you can do. Sonia had sent me gibberish in Portuguese. This is a little boy's voice named Lorenzo speaking in Portuguese, but it's made into gibberish. Check this out. <laughs> So using that, I asked if I play this. I said, say something to me in English to let me know I should use this because I didn't know if I could use a foreign language as a background. So listen to this. Say something to me in English to let me know I should use this. I speak in English. And that's everybody, everybody's favorite because you can really hear that. I speak in English and here it sounded like Lorenzo in a sense but that was not Portuguese and that was not gibberish. And he was saying, yeah, you can use it. I can speak in English. And so for those of you who want to learn to do this, at my, what I did was I had the fellow who helped me figure out how to get on, how to get all these parts on my computer. I had him help me make a slideshow that I did pay him for, but it's now a free download in my website. And it has a split screen, half of the screen are for Macs and half of the screen is for PCs because the instructions are slightly different. You just have to go to sherrypearl.com. Let me put this, if I can show this to you, let's see if I get back to screen share. If you just go to that, sherrypearl.com. When you get there, there's a search bar on the left-hand side of the page. The first thing listed is the prayer registry. We pray for each child on their passing date. Anyone that wants to put their child on the calendar, you can hit on that. It'll give you a form to fill up. But if you go down the list, you'll come to the EVP line. If you hit on that, it will open you up to um, a page that will have the download there. And you can then download either into PowerPoint for PCs or Keynote for Macintoshes, and it will lead you through the steps. I mean, all you really needed would necessarily, I mean, it's not that it's necessary to do it the way we've done it. You could just run a fan and take a tape recorder and, and tape it and try to see if you find anything. But the reason we set it up the way the slideshow has is because the fellow who made it, Josh, set it up in such a way that when you save, a, if you follow the steps, when you save a clip that you find, it will save to a file called EVP audio. And it will um, be, be put into the form of an MP3. So you can send it to someone, it's not. So we have the steps where you download the sound, the gibberish, both male and female. 
You download a recording program. All of the software we chose are free. Um, Although some of them may now have updated, you know, unfortunately that's what happens. These programs are always getting updated, but I think any good tech person could help you follow the, the slideshow. What you want is the sound and the recording program. I might have Audacity, I can show you. We download something called Audacity. Let me share the screen. It looks like this. And we hit record. We have our little sound source piece here. I mean, I could pull it up, but, and we record. Right now I'm making a recording, but I, I don't have the sound on. And then you, you go back to the beginning of your recording and you highlight little sections. But I, and you listen, but all I recorded right now obviously was myself. But you can definitely go to my website and get instructions if this interests you. I have a friend, some of you may know, Pat McHenry. She just goes in her car, takes her phone, puts on the recorder, the recorder and says that the motor from her car creates enough background sound that she can get some EVPs from her daughter. So it is not necessary to do it the way I do it, but what I like about the way I do it is then I am able to save everything and have everything in the file, do readings for others and have all the clips I find saved. So if, if you want to follow that, there's also another mom in Australia who knows my slideshow better than I, who's helping parents who sincerely want to get their computers outfitted. She will help them with that piece. And then I have a YouTube video also at that page on my site that teaches you how to use Audacity and make a recording. But then people, if they have problems with that, are welcome to come to me. And I try to help walk them through how to make the recording. Karen Jarvie, who you can get in touch with through me, she helps people to get their computer configured with the right software. Now, at some point, I started being told by people in the field that some of the scientists in the field prefer that you do something called transform EVP, which is you don't start with the human vocal, you start with the sound that had nothing in common with vocals. They think it makes it purer. So I started experimenting with all kinds of electronic sound. And for example, here's one that a fellow named Keith Clark made and he calls it Clipper and you'll hear it say, I am Danny, but Danny sounds like a robot because it's electronic sound. And I don't want to send that to a mom, but listen to this, I am Danny. <laughs> so that you have to work with a sound source that is comforting for you. I eventually started working with something I call finger scratch. I scratch my finger on the side of the computer and I have gotten some wonderful, I'm just slowing down my list to find them some absolutely wonderful EVPs. It sounds like this, the scratching of the, here's what the, now listen to this, it says, mom, I'm happy. And that was made just by scratching my finger by the microphone of my computer. So you see, they can take all kinds of sounds and convert them into words. But a word of caution, it's not a parlor game. If you, you don't do it with friends when, well, when are we sitting with friends and having a drink? <laughs> 2022, I hope not that long, but. I'm saying it, it just like we, we've been warned with Ouija boards as well. It's not a parlor game. You go on with the intention of connecting with loved ones. I don't think it's about fancy equipment. I think it's about having a sincere heart as I'm sure you all do to connect with your beloved children and spirit. And if you have that desire, I assure you the children have that desire too. But before I open my line, I have a small little ritual I do and it takes only two minutes. I breathe in and as I inhale, I envision drawing light and healing energy into me. And then on the exhale, I envision that light going through my body, out through my fingertips, right through my whole body. And then on the next inhale, I draw that light and healing into me. And on the exhale, I envision that light coming out from the top of my head and forming a circle of light around me. And I say, I just say a small prayer, you know, saying that 
the, the, I, I hear I'm here to serve the good, the divine. May this only be for the purpose of love. And may I please connect with those who I intend to connect with. And I'm careful when I'm finished, not to just shut the recorder off, but to then close the circle around me, say thank you, express my gratitude, because you're dealing with human beings and we're opening up a channel to spirit. So we want to open it up when we're, you don't want to necessarily start doing this if you've had a number of drinks or if you're really angry and because you may just, you know, just a word of caution, you, you know, it wouldn't make sense to get behind the wheel when you're really angry. Have you ever like peddled the metal just because you're so angry and it's so stupid? Well, it's that kind of thing that you're opening a channel. So you want to just cover yourself with light as a protection from anyone that, you know, might want to, in my experience, there are jokers out there. It's not that they're necessarily evil, but you know, the, People, people, just like people have, people show up on Zoom naked and we've heard some pretty weird stories. Well, you may just get jokers show up. I was doing a reading for a mom and actually her niece came through because it was her cousin's reading. <laughs> and it was, it, the, the aunt knew exactly when she said who she was, who she was, and it was perfectly fine. I'm just saying, be sure that your intention is you're not playing the card game. You know, you're, you're placing a phone call and it is very much like a phone call. Um, what, what I have found, and I, I was told by another mom part of HPH that you guys have also been exposed to, um, is, I think it's Craig Mann or Mahan. And I just wanna show you what he's, I, I looked him up to see what he's using. And of course I've used it. And oops, this thing, and it's, it, you can all download this as well. It also works. It's called, I think you now can download it on a Mac, but I had gotten a PC because at that time I could not get it. And I, when I first heard about these things, they're called ghost boxes. I thought, oh, oh I mean, what does that box have in it? You know, that the ghosts will come. But it's the same thing. It just has like these sound things here, like Latin, and you can reverse it. You don't get to hear it, but it runs some kind of sound through there so that when you click it on, it's like an open line and you can ask questions and you can get answers and I can play some for you because I decided to go and pull up some of mine thinking you guys might have heard of him and have an interest in what that sounds like. Um, where did I put all the, just added them, oh, they added them just today. Oh, that's because this isn't up to the top. I can't get to the bottom. Okay, so for example, hmm, having trouble finding them. That's really odd. This might be the, sorry about that. I'll tell you something else interesting. But I just wanted to say, if, if you guys are watching his videos and saying, gee, I'd really like to try that. These are softwares that are just downloadable. Sherry, is that called Ghost Box? People well, are asking. People entitled them Ghost Boxes, but this one's called Phasma Box. P H A S M A. Phasma Box. You can probably Google it and it'll come up. Box. Okay, great. Thank and you. And this is the kind of thing where you don't have to bother with downloading sound. You just put it on and, and it'll come through. But if you don't have something like Audacity, the recording program, it goes through so fast, you miss it. And I don't know why, is this should be the right slideshow. I put a whole bunch of them on here for you. I don't understand where they went, but um, some of them can be very, very clear. You know, I can pull a couple of them up for you another way in the, as I said, that EVP audio file that I have, I'll just go to that and I will go to, PV for, I mean, PB for Phasma Box. And here's one where it says, um, this is one from Phasma Box where it says, deep inside, I love you. Let me play this one for you. Those were acquired using this, but had I not recorded it onto let me bring this up again and show you this again. If I hadn't recorded it into the little recording program, which as you know, I use 
audacity and that's the one you would download from the slideshow if, if i wasn't recording that on this I would, have, I would have missed it because it just goes through this so it goes through this so quickly but now you see because i have it recorded so that's one of the reasons why it's so important to get set up with a, you know, a nice recording program because you can get EVPs and never find them again. <laughs> you hear it once and it disappears into your computer and, or it shoots through this so quickly that you can't catch it. Because I saw him in one of his videos and he was playing it and he was getting some and he was telling you what they were saying, but on your own, if you want to use it, record it onto something so you can go back and go through it slowly and see what you've got. And what's really, really interesting is once I started playing around with EVP in general, I started finding out that you can get spontaneous things happening that you wouldn't even expect. For example, one of the women who helped me get started, Craig Hogan of AREI and a woman named Vicki Talbot, who some of you may know from the big circle, really helped me get started. And one day Vicki and I, we were texting just talking, we were both had been very much into something called the Seth material in the 70s. And we were texting, talking about Seth. And we both get a symbol on our cell phone as if one of us had sent a recorded message. So Vicky said, did you send me a recorded message just now? And I said, no, did you send me one? And she said, no. So I said, let me play it into Audacity and save it and see what we got. Here it is. Yeah. Hello, Jeff. Yeah. Hello, Jeff. Yeah. Hello, Jeff. And here we were talking about Seth, and this little message pops up on my phone. So, what? Our kids are like spark plugs. There is no question they have. If you go to my website, you will also see in that list something that says lights, cameras, action. <laughs> Lily and Shelly, Sherry's light, uh, magical light show, but. It was from a presentation I did on the global Zamet Zoom meetings. And you will see some videos I made of lights going on and off where I would say, Danny, turn it on. Danny, turn it off. On, off, on, off. The kids have definite abilities to work with energy, to work with lights, to work with sounds. And once I started exploring EVP, they just started popping in. It, it, very, very funny, the very first AREI conference that I was going to, I was on the phone with the gentleman making my reservation. And every minute or so, it would just start going, <clears throat> but so loud we couldn't hear each other. And it just kept doing it. This poor young fellow is getting very frustrated and all of a sudden the genius here goes, get audacity. So uh, the next time it went, I recorded it and I'm going to play it for you. It sounds a little robotic and it, it's, it, there's static in it, but you will hear them say here to get everybody together. They cut in on the phone, I guess, to say, you know, we're bringing you all to this hotel to get everybody together. And so once you start opening up this door, there's, there's no limit to what you, you know, the ways in which the kids will start trying to come through on, sometimes my, my phone will light up and, and it'll just have my, my son's name will show up and I'll know that he's ready for me to call in. I mean, the more we play with this, the more they like it because they love it. And, and I, yes, Someone wrote, it's Craig Mahan, and he uses Phasma Box, right? And so, you can use it. Yes, I, I think it's pretty amazing. And I, I, before we run out of time, Claudia is asking a question, and I don't know if this would be possible or not, but since there are so many kids here this evening, is there any way that you might be able to do an EVP uh, try with um, our kids here? And maybe you could just ask, Fair enough, let's bring up a sound source. I'm going to bring up some gibberish because it's our most reliable for this kind of thing. 
Okay, Emma. We've been using more of the female gibberish. It's so funny. Not because it, it doesn't really matter, but we seem to find that the diction's a little better. <laughs> so I like using the female gibberish. Let's bring up a file. Um, master female gibberish. Okay, let's see. I have so many. Let's try this one. Okay. This is, it'll sound like this. <laughs> okay, then let me get an audacity file. Got to get rid of this one. Let me get a new one. Okay, and so what I'm going to do, because there's so many of us, is um, I will put on the sound and then I will say, children, if anybody wants to make any, you know, give any messages, you children have the floor and we'll let it run for a minute and a half. And if I find anything, I'll send it to Elizabeth and she can send it to all of you, but you won't hear it now. That's the other thing people are hoping that they're gonna net. Sometimes on Phasmobox, you'll hear it right when it comes through. With this, you're mostly just gonna hear blah, 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 blah. But I would be surprised if I don't find at least a couple of EVPs because I've never come up without anything. <laughs> so we'll give it a try. So here, let's just get this gibberish on. Okay, we're recording. This is Sherry. I have the parents from Helping Parents Heal. Children, the floor is yours. Speak to us. Okay, so I ran it for a minute and a half. I am going to now save it because the first thing you do is you save your recording. So I export audio. You'll learn all this if you decide you want to. And I'll just put HPH. And today is 10 28. 20 and save it. And you see the way we set it up with the slideshow is that now it's going to save to a file called EVP audio. And it just makes it, um, it makes it workable for all of us to be able to work with it. Otherwise you've made a recording, but you find something, you want to save it. And then you, it, it goes into some file. And, and as my old grandmother would say in Yiddish and Yenemsville, and you never find it. So we, um, well, we, the way we do for, it. Thank you for doing that. And also, I have a few other questions. Could I just quickly ask you some questions? Uh, Doris is saying, I just saw this in another group I am on. The mom posted it from her phone as she was on a walk. How does that, how is she doing that with just her phone? Well, some people get recording programs on their phones and they use what's called, I, we, we sometimes use what's called um, crowd babble. I guess that's what my friend Vicky calls it. Like if you're in a restaurant and you put your phone on <laughs> and you like think, you don't have to say it out loud. You can just think to your kids, are you here? And just like, kind of let it, I've done this, let it play on this, you know, you get home and you Cop, you know, and you slow it down and you listen and you can get some EVPs that way. You may be crickets, nature, you know, any sound they can use. The whole point is 
it's not the, the recording of it that's hard. We've all made recordings. It's the, how time consuming it is just to listen to a three minute recording if you're going through it two to three seconds at a time. That is incredibly hard. Very, I'm sure. I, I've done uh, hundreds of readings and I can tell you that it's as, that the hard part is the auditing because you're, you're dissecting a recording word by word. But when you hear those first few words of English or those, your first, I love you, it gets addicting. <laughs> I'll tell you that. So Mary is asking, how do you slow it down? Is it, is it in the, program? In the recording program? Okay. Um, if I were that, that, those instructions, let, let me share the screen a little bit here. Let's see, share screen. You see, in Audacity, which is the recording program that we use, when you're using Audacity on your dashboard, and I don't know if you can see this, but I'm, where my, my arrow's here, but can you see my arrow where it says effect? Yes, yes. You would hit on that and it would say, change speed. So then you can change the speed by making it faster or slower by moving this. But these are all things that you learn to do through the program. Um, but again, like I said, it just changed the speed. It's probably slower now. But we, I tend to slow it down quite a bit when I'm looking for EDPs because they come through very, very quickly. And that may be because they are on a faster vibration, I am told. And so I always slow it down, but there's functions for all of that. There's a function for highlighting small little sections at a time. And that's what's hard to do on the phone. Like some of my friends use something called WavePad and they get that on their phone. But it would be, you know, your eyes have to, when you highlight an area, it's nice to have it on your laptop because then you can see, you know, you can see what you're doing on the phone. It's, it's got to be harder. But if you've got a recorder, you can record EVPs. But if you want to go through it methodically and slowly and find them, it's best to have it recorded so you can go over to, you know, the, the function that slows it. You can, you can make it louder. You can, um, what I'll often do is I will, I will, here we go, this share screen. If I am, let's say I find an EVP right here for a parent. Let's say I find I love you. And the question is, how are you or something? And I find fine. I'll take the sound here and I will go to effect and I, it will say, I will go to amplify and I'll take it way down so that then the parent can hear the I love you more clearly. So then it would be, I'd, I'd make this clip, I'd cut off that clip and it would be, how are you, sweetheart? And I love you. And this part I lower so that you hear this more clearly. So it's more isolated. But these are all things that you learn from my YouTube video, which outlines all of it. And as I said, I'm around if people say, well, I just can't get it. I would help walk somebody through it. So but, Sherry, there's a really interesting question. Does it have to be gibberish or could it be music? I've tried music with no results, but oh. I try everything. On the other hand, does it have to be just gibberish? No, I mean, I, I'm sure you heard the, I'll play you again. Finger, right now I'm scratching my finger over by the mic on my computer. That's how I got, where is it? <laughs> I'm looking for the finger scratch ones. They were quite clear. I have one where Dan says, mom, I'm happy. I played that for you. And um, it must be right here. Let's see. These are just tons of I love you's from different sounds. So here it is, mom, I'm happy. This was made not using gibberish. This was made by scratching my finger on the computer. Some people absolutely hate gibberish. They can't stand listening to it. They'd rather use anything. And, and right above that, I have one where Danny said, it's really a hassle. Listen to this. This is finger scratch also. So, no, you don't need to use the gibberish, but I have tried all different kinds of music so far with no real benefit. But then again, I use these things called streams that Keith, a fellow who has a website that's called iDigital Medium, he makes things he calls streams. And the streams are, um, the streams are, are like, like that, the one I played for you with Clipper. This is, it, this is what it sounds like. That's 
not univocal, that's electronic sound, but it will produce things like, here's another stream he created. So you absolutely do not have to use only human vocal. And as I said, many people don't like the human vocal. I just saw the ones I was looking to show you that I had made on Phasma Box. There's so many here. Is it here? <laughs> I've lost it again. I'm sorry. But um, you can use Phasma Box. You can use scratching your finger on the computer. You can use water going down the bathtub. You can use so many different sounds. Here, here's water going down the bathtub. Here's, here's I love you from water. It's a little odd. It says, I surely love you. I don't think the bathtub is the best and I don't use that very much anymore. But I think that finger scratch is very, very clear. So um, no, you do not have to use just human vocal gibberish. You, many people use fans. Um, some people like these, you know, these Phasma box, these things, which are, you know, they like to use that. It's just fascinating. And what's really cute is that in some of my readings, we got such cute, I'm sure some of these moms, you know, I did a reading for a mom and I got this EVP that said, Nick's in trouble. <laughs> Well, it's a little hard to hear. And I didn't know whether to send it to her because I was hoping Nick wasn't her other son or something. You know, Nick's in trouble. And the mom gets back to me and says, oh, my God, Nick's his cousin. He just got married last weekend. Because the kids, you know how funny they are. So, you know, you just have to keep your ears open. And if it's in decent, decent enough English that you know it's no longer just a scratch or just gibberish or you've got an EVP and it's, it's great fun. It really is great fun. And so people are talking about other possible sounds uh, like the sound of rain or the ocean. Have you tried those things as well? I, I've used my dog's barking. It's okay. It's not great. Sonia Rinaldi sent me one. I have, when my dog was very, very sick and I just couldn't, just couldn't get to the vet, you know, just couldn't deal with it. So one night he was breathing really heavily. These are all at my website too. If you go to my website in that list, you'll see a thing that says Sherry's EVPs and I've got hundreds of them up there. But I actually recorded the sound of Stevie breathing because he was really sick and he was breathing really heavily. <sighs> Slowed it down and played it back and in his breath was, mother, I love you, but I have to go. I heard it clear as a bell. So the next day I took him to the vet and I set him free. But I have so much fun. I just come up with new ideas. Like, you know, um, crickets are often used. People say they can hear through the sound of crickets. But, you know, plant a radish, get a radish. In the beginning, human vocal gibberish can sometimes be very satisfying because you're starting with a human vocal. So they don't sound like rabbits. They don't sound like robots. They sound more human, um, but you know, really any, any kind of sound. At one time I used, my, my friend Vicky taught me to do this. I don't do it anymore, but we, we had this little Nokia phone that had little raised keys and we'd rub our fingers on the raised keys and record that. And I've got a whole slew of EVPs from that. Vicky uses her washer and dryer. She'll run a recorder by her washer and dryer and ask her son questions and she'll get EVPs. So you can explore, you know, it, it doesn't have to be gibberish. You just put your toe in the water and once you get started, it's a lot, a lot of fun. Well, Suzanne has a really good question. She's saying, this is fascinating. I don't know much about this question. If I'm having an important conversation on the phone and suddenly there's static, is that some sort of communication that I can't hear? Possibly, I can't know for sure. But again, if you get that recording program on your computer and you just press play and you put your phone on speaker, that's how I do readings. I call the mom, I put my phone on speaker, I line my phone up to the computer. They ask a question, just like you know we did tonight, only I didn't ask a lot of questions. And 
their kids answer them back. So I think that it is really doable. I think that anyone that wants to do it can do it. The biggest problem is it's time consuming. You make a three minute recording and you could spend three days going through it. But after a while, your ear can hear it faster. I, I do them much more quickly now than I did in 2016. So Sherry, you do these all the time and, and you have information on the website as well about how to get started. Let's see, Suzanne is saying it was hilarious. He was definitely blocking something I didn't want to hear. So she says that the static was, wonder now if he actually was having something to say. So um, this was going back to that um, static that she got while she was talking. Um, and so uh, obviously there are other things people are talking about, waves from the ocean, wind as well is something that people are talking about. What about a song being played backward? You could try anything. Right. I've not had success with music. I find that it helps to have things that have, you know, something they can catch on to, you know, something that's too peaceful or too, but you just don't know what it is that your particular child will really like. I mean, I haven't tried drumming or chanting. I, there's there's got to be many ways to do it but and for one other big question that people are asking is are all kids able to communicate through evp i believe that they are um my son tells me that they just have to, that it's all done through thought that they hear our thoughts very clearly and we could hear their thoughts clearly and we do we just don't have the time know we're doing it because we think we're daydreaming for example You've all had the experience where you think about somebody and then 10 seconds later, that person rings your phone, right? I mean, that's happened to everybody. Well, did that person send you a mental heads up first? How did you know? We go, oh, it was a coincidence. I think it's because there's like a internet of thought and we are spirits in bodies and they are spirits out of bodies. So we're spirit incarnate and their discarnate spirit, but we're all spirit. And our spirit is not limited to this. It goes out from us, just like, like when you look at movies of, of a submarine and they show you the radar and there's like that screen and there's like a thing going around and it's seeing anything that's kind of coming into its space. I think our spirit in many ways is kind of out there seeing things that are coming in. And many things come in as messages from spirit, but, but it, the, the kick is, by the time it gets to our conscious mind, it feels like a daydream because it comes through that same window as when we're just sitting and daydreaming. I mean, when you want to see a human being, look out through your eyes in physical reality. When you want to see someone in spirit reality, you have to look into that inner screen. But we go, well, that's just my imagination. Well, sometimes it is just our imagination, but when you thought of that person before they rang your phone, it was more than just you making it up. The thought was out there and you were able to perceive it, but by the time it hit your conscious mind, you just wrote it off. You just dismissed it as coincidence or whatever. And I think in many ways, our children are telling us things, whereas my friend Lynn, from the get-go, could just say, well, Charlotte says this. And I'd be like, oh, really? That shit, you know? <laughs> but she ended up saying things that made so much sense. And we're so evidential, we began to realize that Charlotte was right on. So, you know, I began to realize over time that, and I'll tell you something I learned from medium Glenn Dove that helped me enormously. I always thought that mediums heard our kids in our kids' voices. So I was always listening to hear Danny in his voice. And when Glenn Dove told me, no, I hear it all in my own voice. You know, like that still small voice that's talking all the time. So they do get through, but oftentimes, you know, you just, you just think you're imagining it all. So the beauty of EVP is we get to make it audible. And that helps a lot of us because um, not all of us will be as trusting as Lynn and, and be able to say, well, this is what he said. You know, we want it. We want to hear it. We just want to hear it. And of course, those of you who know about Sonia Rinaldi's work know that we also want to see it. And, you know, we're starting what I'm, what I'm getting into now, and I'm just beginning, but I'm just absolutely fascinated, is recording. Oh, come on, where did it go? I 
squared like recording trans images. I don't know if you can see it, but that's my boy. That's Danny's face. And this was done using a de, um, a, a, a humidifier. And this is harder to see, but this looks like the face of Genevieve, who was one of our dogs that was very close to Danny. But these are called trans images. I'm sure you've, many of you have heard of Sonia. These are just my very beginnings. And I was so excited to see that I was able to see the image of my son. But I don't think this is limited to me and Sonia. I think that people can do this if they want to. And I'm happy to show anybody how I you know, do images. That's for another time. If you ever want me to, Elizabeth, I'll set up and show everybody how I run the how I get images. That would be wonderful. And I just want to, uh, before we, before uh, everyone's saying you're so inspiring and beautiful and passionate, you're very sweet, Sherry. Thank you. Thank you for this valuable information. Oh, wow. So exciting. Thank you, Sherry, for all this hard work. I just want to say one little thing. Um, Craig McMahon, as a lot of you know, Craig McMahon, um, he, he explains EVP and maybe especially the, the application that he uses. Uh, and this is what he's heard from spirit. It's almost as though you are giving the keys of a Ferrari to a nine-year-old. So I think that it's really important for everyone on here to understand that you have to be in the right mindset. As Sherry was saying, you have to be in a good place. You can't be sad. You can't be having awful thoughts. You have to be, maybe even meditate before you do this, but definitely put a gold, golden bubble of protection around yourself. Because if you can, if you can have your son or your daughter speaking to you, it's probably true that you could also be speaking to other people that maybe you don't want to speak to. So it's good to remember to protect yourself before you get started, to protect yourself and close that bubble after you're started, uh, after you've done it again. And just realize that um, you should start slowly. Sherry's been in this for how many years? How many years have well, you? Well, I've been doing EVP since 2016, but I've been involved with spirit since I was 20. So that's um, 50 years. So, so you have a lot of heard. experience. Yeah, exactly. So um, I think that it's absolutely wonderful that Sherry's willing to help you with this. And I do believe that there are some amazing things that have come out of it. And again, as she's talking about Sonia Rinaldi, you should all look up Sonia Rinaldi, who's actually in Brazil, and see what she's doing. Mm -hmm. but, um, but in any case, I'm glad that this was a, a very nice introduction to this. And again, please contact Sherry if you're interested uh, directly and she'll be able to help you with this. All my contact information is at my website. So you can, you can find all that if you want to. And thank you all for being on here. Thank you, Sherry, for coming to speak to us. And before we go, we always unmute everyone and ask everybody to say goodbye and thank you. So um, Irene, have you already done that? Yes, yes, okay, thank so you, Sherry. let's all unmute my pleasure. My pleasure. and say goodbye and thank you. I, I don't know. It looks like people are having trouble doing it, though. Are you you guys unmuting or having trouble doing it? Well, we can wave. <laughs> okay. Or, or yeah. thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Well. That was awesome. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sherry. And have a wonderful evening. Thank you all. And we'll see you tomorrow for Anna Molina. She's going to be interviewing Ingrid Honkala. And it'll be wonderful on Espanol. So I'm very excited about that. Have Good night, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Good night. <laughs>